I got a deck here with a really busted nose and the plies of wood have started to come apart from each other so I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. If you ride a deck for a really long time you can end up with a thin tail known as razor tail and this could lead to delamination which is when the plies of wood start to come apart from each other. Another way you can get delamination obviously is by slamming your board into a ledge, wall, or a curb. Now if you do have delamination with a board that let's say is about a month old and you didn't slam it into a wall or it wasn't caused from a razor tail, you know, take it back to the shop that you got it at or call the manufacturer and they should replace it because it's probably a manufacturer's defect. Now if you do have both a chip and delamination, you know, watch this video first and then watch the video on how to fix a chip deck. So let's get started. What we're going to do is show you how to glue the plies of wood back together to make the board stiff again which will give it some pop back and hopefully prevent any more damage from happening. If your deck has long cracks on the top ply like this one, it's best to remove the grip tape. You can remove a small section if you want to, and if you don't know how to remove grip tape, we have a video that will show you how to do it in under 5 minutes. For inspecting the plies or layers of wood, I like to use a small flathead screwdriver. I'll also use the screwdriver to hold the layers apart so I can get the glue deep between the layers. Twisting the screwdriver half a turn will help open up the layers. This board has a couple of plies that have come apart. You can also see that some of the plies have chipped, and we'll get rid of that later after we glue the plies back together. When you start gluing, it's a good idea to start from the bottom plies first. If you start at the top, the glue can drip down and cover up your work area. There really is no right or wrong way to do this. All you need to do is just spread open the plies and squeeze some glue in. When we add clamps, the glue will spread out more between the plies. If the glue seems to be running or dripping all over, it's okay to wipe it off because it will drip a lot more when we add the clamps next. Continue to add as much glue as necessary. Don't worry about using too much glue, it's better to have too much than not enough. If you have cracks like this board, feel free to pry open the top layer from the side. It will help to push the wood up so you can get inside more. Wipe away any excess glue so you won't have to spend a lot of time sanding it off when it dries. Here's how the board looks after I wiped off the extra glue. Here's what you need for clamping the wood together. Two clamps. These are one inch C clamps, about a buck a piece. A sheet of wax paper or some leftover grip tape paper. Have the shiny side down if you use it. This will prevent whatever you use as a clamping call from being glued to your deck. I'll be using a metal ruler. You can use a strip of wood or whatever you have that's flat and hard. A clamping call will keep the deck from getting dented from the clamps and evenly distribute pressure. When you put the clamps on, space them out about two to three inches apart and align them over the center of the problem area. Also be sure the clamp isn't touching the edge of the deck so it doesn't get glued to it. Wipe away any glue dripping out if you like. If you don't clamp the wood plies together, it won't get fixed properly. The plies of wood could come apart again and it won't feel right when you skate. So we don't recommend skipping this part at all. Let the glue dry for a day before removing the clamps. Peel off the paper and any stuck pieces of paper. Here's what this deck looks like after drying. This glue dries colorless. If you've got glue that dries white, that's totally okay. Now I can start sanding. What I'm going to do is remove the glue first and reshape the deck a little bit. The next thing to do is sand heavily against the edge of the deck. Basically, I'm trying to flatten the edge or make it square. This will remove a lot of razor tail and it only makes the tail shorter by about an eighth of an inch, which is hardly anything. I'm using 60 grit sandpaper. You can use 80 or 100 grit, but it may take longer to sand. You can also use old grip tape if you like. If you don't have a sanding block, to hold the sandpaper, you can use an old cassette tape case or a bearing case like I have here. The more I sand, the more you can see how the deck is getting its shape back. That chunk that was taken out of the center of this deck is now getting a lot smaller. I could add wood filler later or I could leave it if it seems like it's not going to cause any problems. This is a great way to reduce or eliminate razor tail. As you can see, the nose of this deck is thicker, stronger, and for the most part completely repaired. It was also cheap to fix, saved me money from buying a new deck, and was really easy and quick to do. Now you know how to fix delamination, razor tail, or a busted nose, just using some wood glue and some clamps. If you have any questions about this video or anything skate related, send us a message. And if you want to know any more tips, check out the rest of our videos or click around ratvision.com.